Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. This video, I'll be taking a look at Anycubic Slash's next new update again. Let's scratch to this topic. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Anycubic Slash's next has a new update that is not based on Orca Slicers, which is nice. I feel like Slicers should start doing this a lot more often because Anycubic Slash's next is based on Orca Slicers and it's based on Bamboo and it's based on Prusa and so on and so forth. But each of the Slicer has its own differences, has its own unique features and stuff like that. It's still good and fine that Slicers take stuff from other slicers because it's open software but it's not good that you just wait on a popular slicers and then you take that and put it into your own slicers that is okay but if you're gonna do that people will just use the original slicers instead of using that slicer right if that makes sense but enough of that let's hop onto any cubic slicer snacks and see what they have updated for us okay we are now in any cubic slicer snacks and this is their newest version the version 1.2.1 the first one added speed transition and overhanging and non-overhanging areas to avoid quality issues caused by sudden speed change ported from bamboo they are taking stuff from slicers from that slicer that slicer but it's totally fine it's all open sources it's good that they do this instead of waiting on orca slicers or waiting on something else in the cubic their 3d printer is not fully you know open source that you can use it on any slicers so it's really good that they are integrating all these amazing features into their own slicers and those people that have any cubic 3d printer can use them and not miss out on anything let's go on to the second one separated 100 percent overhang from general overhang allowing for separate speed setting also poured from bamboo i think that is pretty nice this gives you more control of overhanging and i would definitely do some overhang testing how good overhanging has improved with these two new updates the third one added a print score after completion score can earn maker online points that is very nice so this is pretty similar to creality so if you connect your 3d printers to creality cloud every single time you every single time you're every single time you're done with the print you get about five points for every single finished print so i think that it i think this is similar to that which is nice because you get scores you can get a gift card you can get other stuff from maker online which is amazing Number four, when switching machines, the original models, filament list, and color information are now preserved. Filament lists are no longer tied to specific machines. I don't have two any cubic 3D printer that I change later on in the future, but except for now, I only have one, so I don't really switch 3D printers, and I don't know how convenient this will be. But for those people that have two, three, or even four or five any cubic slicers, any cubic 3D printer, and it's the same machine, and let's say on their Ace Pro, they have all the same color. It's nice that the color filament list is preserved so that you can just boom, 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 get everything done instead of, oh, I'm gonna add this, gonna add that. Number five, add any cubic PETG at K2 Pro. Okay, it looks like they are starting to get their other 3D printers into any cubic slicer snack. Instead of just like making this for the Cobra 3 and the combo, they are now adding more stuff to all their 3D printers. At least that's what I hope. And number six, improve UI performance when refreshing data in the remote printing window. Yeah, let's download now. There we go. We got it update to version 1.2.1. Let's take a look at the setting over here and let's try to find the overhang oh i forgot to look at it and see what is here and what is not here but reverse to odd mm, i don't know dang i forgot to look at what was changed no but hey it's there i'm looking at this b right now and it has this thing i don't think i ever seen this over 100 percent wall not bridge speed for line of wall which has degree of overhang over 100 percent line width but the wall is not a bridge wall and that will be printing at about 18 millimeters per second which is okay i will do some testing of this number and see what is like the different results of having this and not having this but yeah there we go as you saw there any cubic slicer snack has a few new features that they added to their slicers which is a plus in my opinion so now the cobra 3 and their 3d printers is going to be a lot more efficient with their slicers i feel like if you have a good 3d printers but your slicer sucks 
your 3D printer cannot print well enough. From any cubic slicers, the old version, to the new slicers, next. The Core 3 quality improvement, I feel like it's so much better and it's so much more smooth when using their slicers and while printing, it's so much more better than their old slicers. So a good 3D printer and a good slicers make your whole world a lot easier. I will do a couple more testing on this Incubix Slicers Next new version and see what the changes is actually are and if the change are like good change or if that improves anything. If I find out anything good about it or bad about it, I'll make another update video about it and let you guys know. But that'll be it for this video of me checking out Incubix Slicers Next newest latest version 1.2.1. Can't believe Incubix is updating more than Orgas Lasters now. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.